Hello friends, today we're going to be making homemade hummus. We make it without tahini because my husband is allergic to tahini and it's very difficult to find hummus even at a farmer's market that isn't made that doesn't have tahini in it. So we are going to be making just plain hummus today. I, I'm using the big can of the organic garbanzo beans. This is a 25 ounce can. I've already drained off the aquafaba, which is the liquid that's inside the can. Before you pour off the aquafaba, you want to shake up the can to get it all, to get all the stuff that sort of settles at the bottom. It's all the good stuff. And then just drain off the liquid. And you're, we're going to use this to smooth out the hummus. Some things you can add to this are finely minced garlic. You can add lemon juice. You can add beets. You can make any combination of things you want. I'm just going to add the aquafaba and the salt to just make the most basic hummus there is. And even though the ingredients in here include salt, water, organic garbanzo beans, sea salt, I find that you need more salt. So I'm going to go ahead and pour these in into my blender. And I'm going to start off with a little bit of aquafaba to get it going. You don't want it too liquidy because it will be really thin hummus and you can make it much thicker by not doing the aquafaba um, if you have a good blender. The other thing that you can add to help it blend is olive oil. If you're using olive oil, you only need a tablespoon. I do a tablespoon of olive oil, about a half of a squeezed lemon and some minced garlic and some salt. I'm just going to put in for now just an eighth of a teaspoon of salt because you can always add more, but if you make it too salty to start with, you can't take it away. It's always better to start with less. Okay, I am going to um, keep this just sort of here because I'm gonna add my aquafaba through the hole. You have to know how, you know, what speed your blender works on. So I'm gonna see what happens. This is gonna be very noisy in the video, so hang on. <laughs> I need more liquid because it's not even doing anything. So I'm going to blend this and as I'm blending it, I'm going to pour the liquid in and you'll see how it starts to do it. So let's see what we want to do here. I really should have poured that much slower. Now it's going to be very liquidy, but let's keep going and see what happens. So what I'm going to do is, I don't want to add too much more liquid because it might be too thin of a hummus. So to get it going a little better, I'm just going to stick a long spatula in here to get it, kind of get it stirred around. And that'll really help it. Actually, it's already too liquidy. I poured too much liquid in, but this will really get it going. <laughs> The other thing you can do if you know your blender, um, well actually when I restarted that like everything came out, I should have really put this back on, it gave a little spit. But when you know your blender, you know, you know what you need to do to get your blender to sort of incorporate things. What I'm going to do is just really kind of, I could, I could stir it around, but this is just, get it kind of going, let's see what happens. really good and I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna do that a little bit more all right let me get a 
I'll put you back over here. Let me get a spoon and I'm gonna taste it and see if it needs anything. I mean, you can always add things in here. Lemon juice, like I said, olive oil, more salt. Mm, that's really good. Beets make it really sweet. You can, I, I use canned beets. You can also just put the beet juice in from the can. So this is very smooth and creamy and um, very yummy, smooth and creamy. I'm gonna leave it like that. I could use a little lemon juice, but I'm just gonna have it be plain. And that is how, that is the easy, easiest thing to make is hummus, if you have a blender. All you need is the canned garbanzo beans, the liquid from the can, which is called aquafaba, which you can use for other things too, so you should save your extra. You can freeze it and you can put it in an ice cube tray and freeze it, save little portions. And um, you can add anything you want to this, olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, beets, and anything else you can imagine. Make different kinds of hummus, roasted red peppers, you know, any flavor hummus you even, you know, that you would like. So I hope you give it a try, super easy. Enjoy.